Welcome to video 145 in series 3, and here we'll just have a quick look at the enemy NPC prefab. Alright, so just before we start writing scripts, I just want to, I guess, remind us ourselves of the enemy prefab that we have right now. So it's right here, the golem. Uh, so make a new folder here and call it NPC. So we'll put our NPCs in here. And uh, as for the um, spawn, disable that. And drop in the golem into the scene and break the prefab instance. So it's now unrelated. So this was the old uh, AI system that we had, our enemy system. And you can see all the enemy scripts uh, that we had previously set up. So none of that's important now. Of course, we're not going to have any functioning uh, AI or enemy at the end of this video. This is simply just making a start on uh, at least getting this prefab ready for work. So uh, I'm going to call this uh, enemy uh, golem. And I'll just turn it into a prefab, dropping it into the NPC folder. And uh, coming back to it, I will remove all of these uh, scripts. I'll leave the master script for now. I'll come back and remove it. None of these are relevant anymore. Okay, so I've gone ahead and removed all of those. You can see the layers enemy. I should put the tag enemy as well. It will be important. You'll see that later on. But it doesn't matter if you don't set it right now. You will end up setting it anyhow. You have to. Now, of course, on the uh, various um, ragdoll uh, components, the uh, uh, collider and rigid body, we've got these old scripts. We'll come back. We'll come back and uh, replace them with our new scripts and uh, there's other stuff to replace as well, for example, the hitbox, the collision field script. We will come back and replace all of these. So this is what we'll use uh, as we're working through. We'll just keep updating uh, this uh, prefab as we work through this chapter and uh, just keep on uh, updating it. Eventually, when we've got enough uh, scripts written up, we'll be able to see its behaviors coming into effect. But anyway, not just yet. Just save the scene and uh, move on to the next uh, video where we'll start writing the master script for the NPC.